What's going on guys? So in today's video, we are going to be putting some new headlights on the truck because the factory ones are just super crusty and they even collect quite a bit of water like this uh, this one right here. It literally I had it parked along like a hill and I bet you there was half an inch of water in the bottom of it. So they look just absolutely horrible and I'm sure it would have made a cool video to dry them out, reseal them, clean this off, try to get these looking new again. Um, but I'm sure there's tons of those videos on YouTube anyways, but the orange is got to go So I went ahead and got some they're super cheap You can get tons of parts for these trucks for super cheap on eBay and Amazon and stuff So just went ahead and got some new clear housings for it. It's gonna look so much better We're also going to be painting this black which I don't really know I didn't really want to paint anything black on here because I am going a completely different route on this truck aside from the taillights being black, but um, like I said, totally different route on this truck than I've ever gone before. However, I don't really know what color to do other than black at the moment because the rest of the truck is black. Um, another thing we're going to do, probably hard to see on the GoPro, but these trucks are like super notorious for having the bumper sag and stuff. So it's a little bit lower down here than it is over there. So while I've got the grill and the headlights out, I'm going to go ahead and figure out how to adjust this bumper. So we get that all um, nice and level get the bow tie painted and the new headlights in as well as I have some um, LED running lights because my driver's side running light went out. Cat eye Chevrolet's are like notoriously bad for that. Jacob's had like at least 10 go out on him. It's just something that happens on these trucks. Um, I've got a company sending me some headlight, some lights for the headlights and fog lights, but that will be a separate video of course. But uh, yeah, I'm super excited. This is going to completely change the front end. So. Um, I'll have some kind of footage from the truck outside. I'm gonna get to tearing it apart. It's all very easy. The headlights come out in like 10 seconds, so I'm not even gonna show y'all any of that. But I'll catch up with y'all when we start putting stuff in or painting the badge or if I find some nifty way to adjust the bumper. So I guess I will catch up with y'all whenever something happens. So I wanted to pull the truck out just so you can see the complete transformation that is going to happen. This is going to be so, so much better. It's going to be insane. I mean, these things just look so gross. These clears, I know, are just going to absolutely, completely transform it. You can also let me know what you think about the flares being off. I think I'm going to put them back on, but it does look pretty dang good. Put them off. baby squad in here because I know y'all are missing it already so a little look at baby squad we're gonna do an exhaust uh, show down here at some point uh, there's a lot of videos I want to wait until I have wheels on this truck because um, it's kind of an unfair looking challenge obviously the sounds that kind of crap don't matter but so many ideas I kind of want to hold off until this thing has some wheels and tires on it so it looks so much better then but I'm gonna pull this thing back in before the basement gets too hot and we're gonna swap it out. It's gonna be sick.
right guys well we got the lights in and i must say i think it looks so much better uh, black bow pot bleh, black bow tie we got the all clear housings and then some really really weird looking led and running lights right there and then the rest are just the factory like whatever was in there but we we're getting some better lights to go in there as well as if you notice i took the 2500 badge off and now it's just the allison duramax emblem which i think that looks a lot cleaner right there just that one badge i think that gives it a lot better look this thing is filthy it needs cleaning so bad but overall i think the, the lights made a huge difference i think i'm going to go in behind here and paint that little uh the bar radiator support whatever it is paint that black so it doesn't stand out as much but I think she's looking pretty sweet. Obviously, we're gonna tackle some, some suspension here real quick, um, probably in the next video or two, because this thing is just, it looks so goofy sitting up so high in the back and so low in the front. But uh, yeah, so these are like, uh, I wanna say $70 off of Amazon. They've got good reviews. Of course, there's one or two where people say that it leaks or whatever, and in all honesty, here in Alabama, we will, find out if they leak because humidity gets insane here so i'll definitely do an update if they start leaking or if they don't so um let me know if you have these lights um they are all generic i mean uh similar to a guy that said like i was making a mistake by getting a, a duramax um when i'm like supposedly one of the fewer gas truck channels i didn't even know that um however i feel like even a lot of the gas truck cat eye guys will be very relatable to this truck because basically this truck in all honesty sure the underside is different but appearance wise you're pretty much doing the same mods i'm going to be doing and honestly if you wanted to do like an hd front end conversion then here there you go you got because uh, i think like the hoods and stuff i might be wrong i might be wrong but i think the hoods and the bumper are different but if you wanted to do the conversion you'll be able to see my truck how it sits and make a make a judgment call on that so i think i think this was the perfect duramax for me to go with because it is going to be relatable to the um still to the gas truck guys because we're all we're going to be doing about the same things aesthetically so that's my point of view on that but i think the front end really got pulled together with the chrome headlights or the clear they call them and uh yeah she's pretty tough i mean it's i've always loved these cat eye trucks and it's pretty sweet to get one and thankfully a lot of these lights and stuff like that for the aesthetics are, are pretty cheap so i'm you know getting a decent amount of them here pretty quick i don't know how fast the videos are rolling through to y'all but uh because i don't want to push them out too fast but she's looking pretty good pretty quick from uh in real world me doing them but <laughs> y'all can let me know what you think about these clears like i said going a totally different route than i've ever done before so you see the old silverado over here she's all blacked out looking like a stormtrooper just freaking i don't even know what just killing it just man <laughs> i do love this lbz but i just don't think you can look you can beat the look of this i mean everybody loves the classic body style chevrolets but man you just i you can't beat it i mean this thing just looks insane but with that being said that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for this video just a you know a headlight update got them in there no more gold bow ties on the front side or rear anywhere so we're looking all good in that aspect but definitely leave me some feedback let me know what you think what do you want to see next on the old lbz or the silverado because i'm not just casting her aside it's just we've done most of the majority of things so um, there's definitely some things i want to do but as of now y'all know the lbz is taking the forefront so with all that being said hopefully you enjoy i will catch you all in the next one